At the GSK Human Performance Lab, we're working with elite partners to undertake cutting edge research and development to break through the limits of human performance. In this episode, we'll talk about the role of protein in developing athletic power. When most people think about muscle, they think about weightlifting and muscle growth. However, the ability to generate force quickly is probably more important than strength for many sports. For example, the quality of the acceleration phase of a 100 meter race often determines placing. Just as the ability to sidestep your opponent and accelerate away in rugby can provide the advantage. Powerful gluteal muscles, quadriceps, calves, anterior deltoids and erector spinae are critical for great force generation and acceleration. It's important that I'm quick, powerful and agile to beat my opponent. I'm working with London Scottish to assess their ability to accelerate over a distance of 5, 10 and 20 metres. Acceleration is dependent on many factors, including contact time, mechanics, which is the balance of left and right limb, the rate of force development and muscular power, which translate to the ability to apply force through the ground. What we're testing here is acceleration using OptiJump. An athlete's ability to produce force quickly is important in many speed and power sports. This type of training is high intensity, high impact and highly fatiguing. Therefore, it's important to feed the muscle with protein on a daily basis. We have the expertise and specialist equipment required to test the impact of strength, speed and power training. We can examine the impact of this on cell signalling, hormonal and architectural changes in the muscle to provide personalised recommendations to the athletes we work with. The new research we're carrying out at the GSK Human Performance Lab will deepen our understanding of the role protein plays in developing athletic power.